Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to carve a bee. This is a easy, simple project that anybody can do. It's going to be knife only, and it's a good project for you know spring, which is coming up, and or summer. Um, but they're fun little things to make, and it's not hard, so anybody can do this. What we're going to do is just come down at one inch from the top, make a line all the way around. And then on the bottom, I do like, I did a really poor job of that, but I uh, just did like a crosshairs across the bottom to find the approximate middle and be able to give us, you know, an idea of symmetry. Um, and that's gonna be used for making a stinger, so. Basically just going to start rounding this off. We're just going to take all these edges off first. I'm going to do that because it's a lot, you know, nicer to hold. It doesn't dig into our hands that way. And this is all material that's going to come off anyways because we're not carving something square. And this knife is the um, whittling, or uh, yeah, whittling jack by Flexcut, and it's a great knife. Like I love this thing. You can go check out my review on it. I have another video reviewing it, but it's a great knife. So once we knock off those corners. You know, we still have the line that goes around except for those, you know, facets. We're basically just going to cut in. Do like a little V cut kind of thing. just separating like the head from the body Okay, so once you have that kind of separated around, I'm just going to round this head off. So.
Yeah, this knife comes super sharp. I haven't even sharpened it yet. I've used it on a couple projects, so. I'm just kind of seeing how long I can take it without having to strop. So I'm very impressed with the edge retention. too much off right there. That's okay. Alright, so it's not perfectly round yet. I'll come back in and round that out later. As I continue to carve on it. Anyway, so now that we have the head rounded and separated from the body, um, we're just going to create, we're just going to round this off to where it flows into the neck a little bit, you know, more naturally. And then from, here, let's get a measurement, half an inch. So, all right then. All right, so half an inch. From the bottom approximately actually we're gonna drop that down a little bit yeah we'll say three eighths We'll go three eighths of an inch from the bottom and just draw a line around. And we're going to take most of that off. And we're gonna kind of work towards the center. And that's where these, you know, crosshairs come in handy because you can kind of try to symmetrically take it off. We're just kind of doing a scooping cut and we'll move up into the body a little bit more here in a minute, but
so didn't quite bring it to a point yet that's okay we can come back and do that now we're just going to take off a little bit more right around the edge here it's gonna help make them look a little more round And then do the scooping cuts again. And this way you kind of like walk into the point as opposed to trying to go straight for it because if you take off too much material you're not going to have a big enough body and it will look weird. You'll have a huge stinger. And even if you never even complete this project, the scooping motion with the sharp knife, creating that point is just satisfying, so. And I like to do like a, like a pushing motion while I also scoop, it just helps it cut through a little cleaner. And you wanna be careful as this point becomes you know, thinner because you can, you know, cut it right off. And that's another reason why you want to kind of start, you know, further down instead of trying to go, you know, that one inch up that I was about to suggest. And that's in case you break the tip of this off, you can always push this up a little bit more, make them a little bit more stubby to get another stinger. But if you go too far up and then you break it off, you're not going to have any material to fix with mistakes or to use with mistakes. But yeah, if you go too far forward, you know, when you make a mistake, you can't go back and fix it, so. Alright, so let's round off the body a little bit better. Get that done.
Sorry about that. Hands cramping up a little bit. All right, so sorry it's just taking so long. It's kind of difficult to carve with this brace on. All right, so after you get it rounded out really good, you can go ahead and make this into more of the stinger that you want it to be. I'll be really careful here. Gonna go slow. So that's plenty enough, at least for the bee that I'm going to make. Okay. So once you have a head and a body and, you know, you can go ahead and clean that up and make it, you know, take off this flat edge and make it look a lot better. I'll do that off camera because you've watched enough of me barely whittling away at this wood. Um, but once you have this, now it's, you have to figure out what type of face you want. Um, for my bee, I'm just going to do kind of these like wide spaced eyes and a little cutesy smile that kind of thing um, and then you paint stripes and you can go around and
so you paint this one black and then yellow black yellow and then this one your, your head you could do a couple different ways you could do like a little kind of here i'll just draw on it's easier to explain kind of like a face and do this all black and then do the face yellow if you're not going to do something like that and you just want to paint the head yellow which is fine there's nothing wrong with that um, i would recommend doing black yellow and then you know trying to either figure out the spacing of that to where you end up with a black stinger or just you know do the stripes a little bit bigger and have you know go yellow and then a big black stripe and then a big yellow stripe and then a black stinger um, but you can figure out the spacing for that. You know, it's all depending on how you want it to look and how you want the face to look. If you want to put like a hood around it, then you can have that black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Um, but just depends on what you want to do. I kind of like the yellow face and yellow head, just like keeping all this yellow because then it makes the eyes and smile really pop off. But you can do it however you want. Anyways, for the wings, what we're going to do is when in the next video where I paint this, I'm going to connect wires that are, you know, I'm going to drill two small holes and connect a wire in like a loop. And I'll do that a couple times on each side. And that'll create two sets of wings. And then you can take this, you can hang it, you can hang it from a thread and dangle it somewhere. Um, you know, with the stinger, it's not going to be easy to just set it up, but um, you could always, if you don't want to do the stinger, you could always just round out the bottom and, you know, set it up. You can leave it flat to where it can stand up on its own, you know, I don't know, you can do whatever you want, but the way I'm doing this is more of a thing to be able to hang it. I'm going to put like a little... Um, I let screw I'm gonna put that into the back and hang it from a string and it'll look like it's flying um, but you can do whatever you want but it's an easy little project and you can make this look really cute if you take some time and make everything look proportional and clean it up but I'll do that off camera and make it look a lot nicer um, just so you don't have to watch it, but yeah, easy carve. You can do this carve. Anybody can. And then, you know, the next video we'll do the wings and the painting. So, you know, so yeah, in the next video, um, we'll do the wings and the painting, but for the carving portion of this, pretty much done other than just cleaning it up and making it look nice but anyways thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one